hey guys I just wanted to show you um, a little bit more about what I've achieved in resonance and hopefully how you can do the same um, with this equipment anyways I've tried to make this look as simple as possible because there's really not a lot involved um, you see the cell you can see the battery on the left uh, the charger is hooked up to the battery not that that matters it's just keeping it charged and I have one rod here so I'm going to show you how it's hooked up and what it's doing first of all there's the production it's a little hard to see it's dirty I gotta clean it it's not really a boot production right now but you can see it <clears throat> from the battery which is the power source let's say the battery so this meter is hooked up in series with DPWM so this is the power that we're using the red meter wire goes from the battery into there it is into the meter the black wire comes out of the meter and it goes into this red wire all right follow me so that red wire then goes up around and goes into the PWM so that's the power that we're using. There's no way around that. That's what we're using. We're using 0 0.08 of an amp uh, right now. <clears throat> All right, coming out from the PWM is the, where is it? Positive wire, which is right here got the yellow tag on it so that's positive coming out from the PWM positive is going into this side of the bifiler wound resonant rod and again it's wound a little bit differently so it's going into there positive is going into there and coming out going through both of those windings going into the rod Okay, coming out of the rod through those windings and coming out through the second into the second meter and the second meter is hooked up to the input of the cell oh, I can show you right there comes up right here and the light is just hooked up to the battery <clears throat> so there you go so in a nutshell the meter on the left is what's coming into the PWM from the battery so this is the power being consumed in uh, amps or milliamps so watch we're consuming 0 0.08 both meters are the same both meters are hooked up same reading I'm now going to turn it on. It's already running. I mean, I'm just turning the meter on. Come on, light. So, what do you think? 0 0.08 coming in. 0.35 coming out actually a little bit lower than I thought I thought I must have hit a wire or something of course right there you go it's about four times the output sorry four times the input at resonance this is at resonance at not resonance it's just eight in eight out 
Okay, so call it whatever you will. The meter is reading more energy or amperage coming out to the cell using 0 0.08 of an amp, right? Over 8 milliamps. So there you have it. Very, very simple, very easy to understand. There's your input amps, there's your output. Uh, voltage is, well, let's see what voltage is. So the voltage going in is, if I can do this, voltage, let's turn it on, uh, volts. Guy over. So we are consuming 13.68. Yeah, let's write this down. So we were at 0 0.08 oops. Amps. And oh, it's 13.74. Thirteen point seven four, and I think the output was uh, what point three four, three four. Let's see. Turn that back on. You can hear it ringing a little bit. Sure, we can hear that. <clears throat> okay, so we're whatever 0.35. Well, it's whatever to make it right. 0.35. And let's measure the voltage. ish 13.53 13.54 let's call it that for fun 13.54 so there you have it we're it looks like we're losing a tiny bit uh, due to probably some resistance in the voltage but not enough to really matter um, do the math. Uh, the watts are the watts. Uh, there's definitely something happening here. And it's easy to replicate if you have the right equipment. Sure the voltage is up 13.62, so who knows, maybe it climbs back up. So yeah, let's uh, get this back on. There you have it. So just, just just imagine what this could do with more amperage, a higher resonant point. This is the lowest resonant point, um, and the best resonant point. Uh, just imagine what you could do again with more volts, more amps, more cells, and more rods. So I'm gonna put a kit together, see if anyone's interested. Uh, I'll throw it on the website. It'll consist of a rod that is wound with connectors on the ends. Um, the PWM and some instructions on how to wire it up and hit resonance um, to achieve um, what's being demonstrated right here and after that you can experiment and see what else you can do with it thanks for watching let me know what you think